okay welcome back guys today we'll be discussing accounting standard 4 and accounting standard 29 both together because there are many points which are kind of which kitchen create a kind of confusion that which AS covers which point so we'll be discussing AS4 and AS29 AS4 is contingencies and events occurring after balance sheet date all right and the name of AS29 is provisions comma contingent liabilities and contingent assets and that's it um, AS4 AS29 let's see contingencies and events occurring after balance sheet date this AS is mandatory in nature and has no exemption. For checking which which AS has exemption or not, please do check framework of accounting standard video. The link will be in the description. Point number two. What is a contingency? Contingency means condition or a situation on balance sheet date, which may result in gain or loss, which is still uncertain based on factor which is not in control of entity so it means there are total three things there is a situation or a condition which can result in gain or loss which is still uncertain point number two condition which may result in gain or loss point number one which is uncertain point number two which is based on the factor which is not in the control of entity point number three so contingencies basically has three basic points gain or loss uncertain and beyond control of the entity all right point number three event event means transaction which are significant which are gain or loss arising after balance sheet date but before approval of accounts all right even means after balance sheet date but before approval of accounts let's see whether events should be considered in the balance sheet or not let's see AS4 deals with contingencies in respect of receivables or debtors only other contingencies are except debtors are covered in AS number 29 all right let's see debtors or financial instruments these are assets which are expected to be collected within due date if there is any remote probability of bad debt such possibility should be ignored remote possibility should be ignored point number two if there is high risk of bad debt amount can be ascertained high risk plus amount can be ascertained then provision for doubtful debt should be made last point in case possibility of debt is other than high or remote footnote should be given let me summarize it for you debtors provision for doubtful debts can be made remote chance no treatment high chance make provision for doubtful debt other cases give footnote to the notes to accounts pretty much simple till here now we'll see point number six event occurring after balance sheet date these can give these can be of two types adjusting and non-adjusting okay now what is adjusting event and what is non-adjusting event Please uh, ignore this part for a while. Just see this adjusting event. 
adjusting event means those events whose contingency existed on balance sheet date means कुछ बातें ऐसी हो रही थी बैलेंस शीट डेट के आसपास कि हमें पता था कि ये काम हो ना जाए कहीं फॉर एग्जांपल एक डेटर था जिसकी हवा बह रही थी कि शायद ये डेटर इंसॉलवेंट हो सकता है एंड फाइनली वो इंसॉलवेंट हो गया तो हमें बैलेंस शीट डेट पे पता था कि वो इंसॉलवेंट हो सकता है तो दैट विल बी एडजस्टिंग इवेंट इन सच अ केस प्रोविजन शुड बी मेड फॉर इवेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ कंटिजेंसी फिर वो कंटिजेंसी नहीं रही वो इवेंट बन जाएगा नेचर ऑफ इवेंट शुड बी डिस्कलोज ओके ना वॉट आर नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट दीज आर दोज इवेंट्स अगेंस्ट विच कंटिजेंसी वॉज नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग ऑन बैलेंस शीट डेट ओके बैलेंस शीट डेट पे कोई पता कोई हवा नहीं थी कोई कुछ नहीं था कि कुछ गलत काम हो सकता है या कोई सही हो सकता है क्योंकि कंटिजेंसी कैन बी फॉर आई द लॉस और गेन गेन के लिए तो कुछ भी नहीं करना है पर लॉस के लिए वी हैव टू डू सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट बट फॉर नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट देर आर एक्सेप्शंस फॉर थ्री नॉन एडजस्टिंग इवेंट्स विल स्टिल हैव टू एडजस्ट दोज इन द फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दिस इज द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ ए एस फोर आफ्टर दिस ए एस ट्वेंटी नाइन विल स्टार्ट प्लीज पे अटेंशन दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट non adjusting events are not adjusted in balance sheet but there are three exceptions proposed dividend should be adjusted even if contingency was not available on balance sheet date for example balance sheet date has passed and we have not provided for dividend but before approval they are uh, dividend is declared so balance sheet date accounts will be adjusted all right events with effect of going concern assumption in case financial statement should be redrafted on non going concern assumption for example koi aisa event ho gaya after balance sheet date but before approval of accounts which creates threat to going concern or which which itself says the entity will become non going concern so assumption is violated so redraft all the financial statements on non going concern assumption that is liquidation last events which are non adjusting but considered material should be disclosed in approving authorities in case of company's director report director report mein koi aisa event which is very much material should be disclosed all right <coughs> uh, i have written in the paragraph numbers as para 14 of as4 all these these you you may read it to the notes but i consider these are not not really so much relevant you should just know the provisions now we'll move on to next accounting standard that is as number 29 as number 29 says provisions and contingent liabilities and contingent assets now what are provisions contingent liabilities what are contingent assets let's see what are provisions provisions means liabilities which are measured using substantial degree of estimation okay now what is liability liability means present obligation arising from past event plus to be settled through outflow of resources or plus which can be measured this is liability and provision means liability which are measured using substantial degree of estimation this is para 14 of as 29 definition of provision now what is a contingency any past event any present obligation due to any past event means past event now a present obligation past event means obligating or obligation event which is considered as the cause for liability past event means cause has occurred such past event can be due to trade trade practice customs government and law etc present obligation means whose occurrence is certain or more likely than not hone ke chances more than 50% it is considered to be a present obligation 
होने के चांसेस ना होने के चांसेस से ज़्यादा हैं वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ प्रेजेंट ऑब्लिकेशन होने के चांसेस ना होने के चांसेस से ज़्यादा हैं नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पॉइंट नंबर ट्वेल्व मेजरमेंट ऑफ ऑब्लिकेशन अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोविजन इज बेस्ड ऑन रिपोर्ट ऑफ एक्सपर्ट और एक्सपेक्टेड लॉस ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी फैक्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल लॉस वन लैक प्रोबिलिटी फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रोविजन विल बी क्रिएटेड एट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट फॉर वन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी परसेंट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन लैक थर्टी थाउजेंड द प्रोविजन विल बी वन लैक थर्टीन थाउजेंड फॉर ऑल दिस नाउ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट नोट्स इफ एनी रिकवरी इज पॉसिबल ऑन प्रोविजन सच रिकवरी शुड not be deducted from the amount of provision if there is virtual certainty that counter claims should be deducted from provisions for example any kind of insurance claim that we know it will be we will get that so we can deduct it any gain arising from any event on which or from which provision is being made should not be deducted all right we are moving towards the last topic and we'll be completing it the last points three points are left and these are onerous contracts uh, these are not part of accounting standard but yes question may be asked on this contingent liability means possible obligation or present obligation which cannot be measured contingent liability means possible obligation or present obligation which cannot be measured treatment contingent liabilities should be reported as a footnote to the financial statement no accounting treatment done only footnote to financial statements now what is the meaning of possible obligation and present obligation for example if we take this whole circle as 100% starting from over here all the way if we move in the right direction so till here we'll complete 50% the half means the right quadrant all this way is possible obligation and after we complete this 50% level will come in the quadrant of present obligation and this was possible obligation contingent assets no treatment for contingent asset means gains is expected to arise from uncertain events they should not be reported in financial statement for example lottery ticket disclosure requirement provisions schedule of provision should be made should be given opening balance addition deletion closing balance very much simple risk associated with provision should also be disclosed okay one extra point for you staying tuned by far onerous contracts dagi contract means contracts jo hum kar lete hain lekin hame pata hai ki hame wo bharna padega kyunki they are no more profits they are losses when any binding contract is entered whose future economic benefit are less than cost to be incurred such contracts are called onerous contracts provisions should be made for such contracts for example we took premises on lease for a factory for 30 years for non cancellable lease but now we know factory nahi kholni due to some problem ab paise to 30 years tak denge hi but factory operate ya banani nahi hum sab lease bhi nahi kar sakte sub lease means we cannot sub lease that place now the agreement will made make provision banao loss ki means this is an example of onerous contract so this completes our as number 24 and 29 i'll list you the important questions in the description below for practice from practice manual and from study material as well please do check them out and do it thank you please share like and subscribe if you like the video thank you